back to another devlog on my Voxel ray tracing engine. These past few weeks, I've been hard at work optimizing my engine and have improved everything from the frame rate to the file size. The first thing that needed optimizing was the engine's VRAM usage. The map in my engine is split up into 8x8x8 chunks. And thankfully, I don't store any voxel data for totally empty chunks. But what about chunks that only have a few voxels in them? If a chunk had even one voxel in it, I was storing the color, normal, and lighting information for all 512 that it could store. To fix this, I changed chunks so that they only store a bit mask, where each voxel is represented by a single bit, a one meaning that a voxel exists there. The actual voxel data is instead stored in a large buffer where I only allocate space for as many voxels as the chunk has, rounded to a power of two. As you can see, this results in a lot less empty space. Here are the final results from this change. As you can tell, it was hugely successful. But I should mention that the sphere scene was taking up way more memory than it should have before the optimization due to a bug. So it wasn't only this optimization that reduced it. The next optimization I made involves extending the ideas I had with the memory optimization to the lighting calculations. In my engine, lighting for each voxel is calculated in a compute shader ran for each chunk. And previously, the shader would calculate lighting for every single voxel in the chunk, even if only one of them was actually filled in. So a lot of computation was often wasted. So I changed the compute shader to work not on entire chunks, but on the voxels in the buffer I created earlier to reduce memory. This means that I waste less computation on empty voxels as this large buffer is more tightly packed together. Here are the results from that change. Previously, I was updating the full 512 voxels per chunk, but now it is much lower so as to only update filled voxels. The final optimization I made was to the size of the map files in my engine. Previously, I was basically just dumping the entire contents of memory into a file, which resulted in very large file sizes due to excessive redundancy. The first thing I did was to implement simple run length encoding for the voxels materials. This means that I was able to skip storing identical voxels if they're right next to each other in memory. This had by far the greatest impact on the file size. Next, I found that I was able to actually remove some data from the file such as the map of chunks, and instead construct them using other data in the file. This reduced the size a little more. And finally, I added a palette system to the files, meaning that for some chunks, instead of storing each voxel's color, I store a palette of colors that each voxel indexes into. This works very well when many voxels of the same color are nearby. As a final result, I was able to cut the file size of the sphere scene in half and the demo scene in a tenth. This still isn't as effective as using a general compression library, such as Zlib, but I wanted to code my own solution. Wow. 
One last feature I added was refraction. Refraction is a phenomenon that occurs when light passes through a new medium, such as glass, causing it to change direction since it moves at different speeds through different mediums. This is actually very easy to implement with ray tracing. All it involves is changing the ray's direction. The refractions look very blocky since I'm using per voxel normals, but I honestly think it looks pretty cool like this. To test out these new optimizations and visual effects, I made a brand new, much more complicated scene.